Frankie Kazarian is, of course, not. A world championship has evaded Frankie pretty much his entire career. And now that he's really got his sights set on it, I am interested to see where his character goes from here. Because realistically, the goal should not change that much for Frankie. He might not be the number one contender for the next uh, bout, but he's definitely going to want a shot in the future. So I hope this bit with beating up the referee doesn't distract too much from his journey, but I do like the nuance of this was a guy who even just last week when I was describing his heel turn, there wasn't that much of a difference with this guy. His priorities were still the same. He still loved TNA. He still wanted to represent TNA and he still wanted to be TNA champion. He just didn't really care so much about upsetting anybody. He didn't care if he had support from the fans, but this is a much more aggressive Kazarian. So let's see if they're able to pull on that thread a little bit further as they move along. Hopefully it won't end up with a, uh, a, a ref angle because those, those are tend not to be fun. Uh, I also like to say I like the TNA these pay per views. It's not uncommon for them to do number one contender matches. Yes, I, I, I love like that. that. I do too. I well said, well said. And yeah, you see, I'm, we're talking. Over, Danny got in my head. We're talking over each other, and that's my fault. Um, I love number one contenders matches. I think it's something that both of the big companies are missing. I know AEW tends to love the tournaments, and I'm cool with the tournaments. Uh, I, I We all did get a little burnt out with the tournaments when it came to AEW for a while. But uh, personally, I do love the ranking system, and I think that the ranking system will lend itself to potentially having official or at least unofficial number one contenders matches. So I'm down for that. But yes, that is something WWE, I would love to see re-implemented. When I grew up, I remember seeing pay-per-views have number one contender matches with top talent. Like there was one pay-per-view, I, I, I'm dating myself here, but we had. I, I remember growing up and I was just like, wow, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker in a number one contenders match. That means like these two guys really want to be champion and they're the best that aren't champion. 